Good evening, my name is Samantha Elms, and this will be a short presentation on the Native American writer Jane Johnston Schoolcraft. She was born in 1800, and she was of Ojibwa and European descent. Her father was an Irish fur trader, and her mother was the daughter of an Ojibwa chief. So that makes her the product of the combination between Native American and European. She also married a European. His name was Henry Rowe Schoolcraft, and he was a United States Indian agent. And together, they published some of her writings in a literary magazine that they wrote uh, called The Literary Voyager. And this was a handwritten magazine that was distributed among the people in their town. And it was widely accepted because it was a different way of telling stories. Uh, Jane Schoolcraft was able to have the unique ability to take Ojibwa tales and make them her own, and but, but she used the English language. So some of her stories have uh, Ojibwa words in them, and they have their meanings, and it allowed the people in their town to understand a little bit better the Native American culture. Um, so her name, <clears throat> Jane Johnson Schoolcraft uh, had an Ojibwa name, which I can't pronounce, um, but it meant the sound the stars make rushing through the sky. Eventually, in the 1990s, her works were uh, found, and they were able to be published by uh, Richard Dale Parker and, um, in a manuscript that, was, that used her Ojibwa name as the title. Uh, one of her stories was, is in our Bedford Anthology of Literature book, and it's called Mishosha or the Magician and His Daughters. And this story, briefly summarized, tells the tale of a young orphan and his brother and how they were found by a magician who only wanted one of them to bring home to his daughters. However, the magician was sort of an evil magician and kept trying to kill the boy that he found by taking him to these different islands and telling the animals to attack him. Each time, the boy survived and was brought back to the island where the magician and his daughters were, and eventually, the magician got a taste of his own medicine, and uh, the boy uh, was able to go find his brother, and they lived happily ever after with the two daughters. Um, the reason why this tale is important is it showcases the Native American uh, people's values, so their relationship with Mother Nature, and their relationship with animals, and also their spirituality. And also it, it had the respect that Native American people showed each other. Even though the boys didn't know the magician, they called him grandfather in the story. Uh, and the boy frequently called upon nature um, and the great spirits to help him through these trials because he was really good at heart. And it also showcased that if you were evil, even if you were a magician, um, you didn't get to get away with treating people that way. Uh, so Jane Johnson Schoolcraft and her stories are important to this course because it's a story or it's um, it's a course about uh, Native or American people and the tales that they write. And uh, Jane Johnson Schoolcraft was the epitome of an American because she's um, she's two cultures that are blended into one. She's Native and she's European. Uh, and she's, she accepts both of them, and therefore she is accepted uh, mostly by the people that are, write, that are reading her stories. Um, so even though she was a woman, even though she was uh, Native American, she was still able to have a lasting impact on American culture because of who she was. Um, so these two cultures... Natives and Europeans that were always at odds with each other, it seems, throughout history. She was able to connect them in an artistic manner um, that was able to last um, up until now. <clears throat> and uh, a nice summary of her character was written by Margaret Norrie in the Michigan Quarterly Review, published by the University of Michigan, that said she was an artful editor, a play for a reader, and a writer whose work is as complicated as the times in which she lived. And I think that's a great um, quote that showcases 
just what kind of person that she was, uh, being a writer, being a woman, being a native, and that she used all of those things to bring out the best in her writings. Um, so hopefully I have demonstrated the importance of Jane Johnson Schoolcraft to our course and also given a brief summary of one of her writings. And at this time, I will take questions um, about the presentation. Thank you for listening.